<laughs> yes, sir. I know you miss me. I miss y'all too. First things first, thank y'all for tuning in to the Yay Way channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you join the family. In this video, give me a thumbs up, comment at the bottom, and tell me what you think about the shoes that I've been bringing to y'all so far. Yes, sir, we back at it yet again. Another shoe collection video. These are my favorite videos outside of QJ's. Not gonna show y'all all my collection. I'm doing it in increments. Y'all already know how I'm getting down with it. Three pairs per video, and they got a story with them, like a little storyline. Why I copped them, the reason behind my cop, then just truly how I feel about the shoe. You know what I'm saying? So tell me what y'all think. Again, if you ain't joined the family yet, but anyway, so today we're gonna come at you with three different brands, right? Nike, Jordan, Reebok. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you a sneakerhead, you gotta have a J's. I know you gotta have a J's. Uh, it's true, it's true. I mean, it goes, uh, it's, I don't know. You don't necessarily gotta just have a J, you feel me? I mean, we got, we got several different brands, right? I'm just gonna show y'all an extra shoe. We don't have just J's, we have Yeezys, we have, we have Doc Martens. If you don't know what Doc Martens are, check out Fresh Prince of Bel Air. He had the shiny Jones, but you know what I'm saying? We don't just do J's, you know what I'm saying? We do a variety of shoes. That's why I'm telling y'all, if you wanna see a shoe on this video or any other future shoe collection video, let me know in the bottom in the comment section and we'll see what we have. Somewhere now, so I don't know. We'll figure it out though. Three pairs today. And one of the things I'm gonna say about these shoes is that they were hard cops. Like they were very hard to cop, except for one. One was just like, literally, I just wanted to really get it, but You'll see when we get to it. So, ride with me on this one. It's gonna be a good one, all right? Trust me. All right, so on my first shoe, real quick, story. This person that dropped this shoe is an NBA legend, of course, he's all the famer. Went toe to toe with MJ many a times. And if you know me so far, a lot of my shoes are retros, like real far back retros, try to get stuff there, you know what I'm saying? People sleep on them. Nowadays it's hard when you got the, you know what I'm saying, the high beast and whatever. But with this shoe, I tried like three years before it actually dropped finally, because I was researching. And when it finally dropped, I was lucky. I was fortunate yet again. And I got me, I got my hand on a pair of these. And by God, I was happy. If you don't know what shoe I'm talking about, let me give you a hint. This man right here is known for his defense. One of the best trash talkers in the game to date. And when I tell you the best, he used to get on the MJ skin. And that's a very hard task. You don't know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about the gloves. Yes, sir. The man himself, Gary Payton. This is his signature shoe. Now, first things first, this shoe, I know when I was growing up, I used to see this when I was a kid. So this shoe dropped twice, I believe. And the second time, of course, I was older. I got it. Because as y'all know, from my background, I wasn't really able to have as many shoes growing up. And I mean, some people have some people have that opportunity, some people don't. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, but got my chance to get my pair and I got my pair. First thing I'm gonna say is, it lives up to its name, the glove. This thing feels literally like it's in a glove, you know what I'm saying? So with the zip up material, this is like really stretchy, you know what I'm saying? It's like, a, I don't know what kind of material, but I love it. Like it's, it's literally like a glove. Folds down, you see the old school up tempo, little Trini hat on it. If you know what up tempos were back in the day, you feel where I'm going with this. If you can see in the back, you got the old school up tempo Nike symbol. This is like really nostalgic, for real, for real. The black, the white with the little red accents to it compliments everything. And I know this is one of his shoes that he wore against MJ in the playoffs, and he gave MJ buckets, but of course MJ won. And this is when my man was with Sean Kemp on the Supersonics. Do your research if you think I'm playing around with you. I know a lot of people, they like, why do you get Gary Payton's? What's so special about Gary Payton's? It's just a simple fact of growing up watching basketball, when you see these different legends, you know what I'm saying? You want to get that pair of shoes they got on. With me, I like I fell in love with the shoe. I fell in love with it, and so it took me a while to get it. But when I got it, I was ecstatic, man. And these, believe it or not, this pair didn't really like break the pockets. It was like, I think, 160. And I'm not even going with tax, but 160 for these, that's a steal. That's a steal. Because nowadays, shoes go from like 200 at the least. So, the Gary Payton, the gloves. Tell me what you think about this kit, you know what I'm saying? This shoe is fire. Fire. So my next shoe. Real quick, 
This is not no athlete that dropped this shoe. My wife. <laughs> oh my god. I took a few photos in this shoe, and my wife really gets on me about this shoe. I don't know why, but I love it. Um, Lil Baby, if you know who I'm talking about, rap artist. Probably right now one of the hottest in the game. Check it out. He just dropped his album, My Turn. Went crazy. Went completely crazy, especially with the recent record he dropped that just went globe like epic. Epic. Shout out to the family, of course. So real quick, this is the Lil Baby uh, collection in Reebok. Now, <laughs> again, my wife, she be giving me hell about this shoe. She always tells me it look like a bowling shoe, but to me, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, got a little steez to it. Got a little steez. It's different, honestly. Gum bottoms, it do like a bowling shoe, I ain't gonna lie to you, but it's fly. A little translusion on the top with the little Reebok symbol a little bit. And then the green. Green is my favorite color. I don't know if you could tell, you know what I'm saying? My logo, the YouTube channel, shirts up. I don't know. You get it, but this shit alone, I'm, I'm feeling it. If you don't know when the back is reflective around this area, then of course, it just got that authentic retro look. I, just, I don't know what it is about the retro look. Like the early 90s look, late 80s look, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really feel it. And then of course, paying homage, 1983. These are the Reebok classics. And this is a little spin on it, and I, I'm feeling it. I'm really feeling this. That's cool. He cool. Hey yeah, man, Reebok Classic Little Baby Collection. Hard. This is hard. Right. Trust me. So, my last shoe for the video. It is a Retro 4. It's not the Cements. Not the Bread 4s. It's none of that. However, it is a red uh, colorway. Now, with this shoe, it was a steal. My homie did not want half of his shoes. He sold half of them. I mean, this is how the sneakerhead community work. Dead stocks are a dream come true, especially if they're like really hot shoes that people really slept on, but people trying to get them, but they don't know where. I didn't spend a ticket on this. And when I say a ticket, I mean like a lot of money. Translation. But with this one, my man's gave me these for a hundred. And they were brand new dead stocks. Let me show you why I'm so excited about this pair. Hold on. Man. So look, these are the Toro Fours, man. Like, I don't even have an intro. Like, I don't even know how to explain. Like, these are just hard. The, the red suede material. The, no, I don't have a Nike Air, but it's just a simple fact that it's just, these are like one of one, for real, for real. Like, when I first got them, I, I thought he was joking. Thought something was wrong with them, but these are really hot, yo. Got the Air Max bubble on them, red, black, with the gray accents for the little shoelaces. The colorway itself is just, it's crazy because you would have never thought like all this would have been suede. Most people think this is patent leather, but honestly it's suede. The material is amazing. Just don't wear these in the rain. I've seen people do it. Weird flex. Don't wear shoes like this in the rain. Please don't, cause that's... Again, thank you for checking out the video. This is the shoe collections. I don't know what part, it's been a minute. But let me know what shoes you wanna see in the upcoming shoe collection videos. I do have something major coming up soon, not gonna speak on it. He know, we know, it's gonna be epic, it's a competition. So I hope the Gateway family is riding with me. Oh, we better win, we better win. Be ready. Other than that, stay tuned, QJ volume 13 is dropping this week. Another surprise coming, we ain't done. We ain't done. Minor breaks, life happens, but we don't never stop on the channel, you feel me? Again, join the family if you haven't. That's tough. All that. Inspired by them. Yay way. No way. We out.